You're listening to the A to Z English podcast. Welcome to the A to Z English podcast. My name is Jack and I am one of the hosts of the podcast and today I'm doing a solo episode and this is truly a solo episode because it is just me talking to you about a topic and this will be a quick chat episode. We haven't done a quick chat in a while and I want you to send me your comments about this topic because I'm curious to hear what you think about this topic. And so the topic is, or the question I should say is, do you believe in the idea of haunted objects? So do you believe in the idea of haunted objects? And what that means is that do you believe that objects can possess or can have evil spirits? So if you bring some kind of haunted object, some kind of object into your house that has a, an evil spirit, it can bring bad luck and cause mischief in your life, in your home, in your relationships. And the reason is this object. It has an evil spirit. It's haunted. It could be a doll. It could be a piece of furniture. It could be a piece of jewelry, like a ring or a necklace. Um, there are a number of horror movies that deal with this topic for example i'm thinking of the movie annabelle and annabelle is a doll but she is but the doll is possessed by an evil spirit and the evil spirit can cause harm and as i mentioned before mischief and terror for the people that are around the doll that that have the doll and so the question today is, do you believe in the idea of haunted objects? And I'm going to, I'm not going to just throw away this question and say, no, flat out. I'm going to, I'm going to really think about it and share with you my, my honest feelings about this topic. And there, there's, before I start, there's, there's kind of an, interesting aspect of this that I want to share with you. And that's that I live in South Korea. I'm an English teacher, but I live in, in work in South Korea. And I've lived in Asia for about half my life since I was about 23 years old. I have lived in an Asian country, uh, Thailand and South Korea. And I know that definitely there's a belief in Asia that, and this is not exactly held by everyone. I mean, in maybe long, a long time ago, people believed this, um, that evil spirits do exist and that we need to ward off and to ward off evil spirits means to, to push them away, to keep them away to ward off evil spirits, you would do certain things. You could do, there were certain practices or the way that a building is designed. The architecture was meant to ward off evil spirits. And I think that that idea is still, the idea of, of objects having evil spirits does exist today because living in Korea, I've, I've got, I've found a lot of, how can I say this without sounding strange? The chair that I'm sitting on right now, the computer chair I have, I found it some outside. Somebody was throwing it away. And it's a perfectly good computer chair. 
And in America, if somebody were to put this outside, an American would grab it in five seconds and take it home and use it. But in Korea, I find a lot of people don't want to use, don't want used furniture. They, you know, they think it's, and I think that it comes from the idea of they don't want to bring something mysterious into the household, which could be a an, an evil spirit, a bad spirit, or bad luck. Now, the the fact that I'm sitting on a used piece of furniture tells you that obviously I don't believe in ob- haunted objects. I don't believe that objects can possess evil spirits because I have two computer chairs in my office here and they're both recycled. As we say in English, one man's trash is another man's treasure. And so they're two perfectly good, perfectly clean uh, computer chairs or desk chairs. And I found them outside and somebody was going to throw them away. And to me, the idea of throwing away a good chair so it can just go into a landfill, a pile of garbage and sit there for a thousand years, why not use it? You know, recycle. I believe in recycling. So I have a computer, two computer desk chairs that are recycled. And I've got something else too. I'm trying to think of what, uh, there's something else that I'm I'm forgetting um, that I, I found. Oh, I have a, an exercise machine. Somebody threw away a perfectly good stationary bicycle. And it's a bicycle that you, you don't go anywhere. It's not a real bicycle. It's a stationary. Stationary means not moving. And it's a stationary bicycle and you ride it for exercise. So I can watch TV and ride my stationary bicycle and exercise and burn calories. And someone threw away a perfectly good one, probably because it was they were not using it. It was in their apartment and it was taking up space. And so they put it outside. I saw it. I brought it home. I cleaned it up. I fixed a couple things on it. And now it works perfectly well. So I have these used objects that I brought into my house. And, you know, some Korean people would think I'm crazy. They would think, how could you take a risk and bring in some kind of bad spirit or unlucky spirit. And I just don't think, I don't believe in that. I believe objects are just objects. They're just made of atoms and they they don't possess any sort of spirit or essence. They're just things and they cannot hurt you by themselves. I mean, someone could pick up the chair and they could hit me with the chair and that would hurt me. But really, that's the person doing it, not the chair. The chair is just a tool. It's just an object. Same with the stationary bike. So, yeah. So, so my answer, and this is, I'm giving you the long answer here, is that I think, I think that idea of haunted objects is actually kind of a bad thing because it stops us from using from recycling you know there are a lot of a lot of times people throw away good stuff and it just goes into a landfill and it just pollutes the planet whereas another person could use that object and so i really you know part of part of me enjoys recycling because it's free right i get a free chair or two free chairs and a free stationary bike. Those are can be expensive objects. And I got it for free. So that makes me happy. I saved money. But the other half of me 
is happy because these objects are not in the ground somewhere, just polluting the earth with plastic and garbage. And they're actually being used. And I'm using them here in, in my house, at my desk. I'm sitting on this chair, and it's very comfortable. And so I... I think that actually the idea of haunted objects has a kind of negative impact on society, but I would love to hear what you guys think. Am I crazy for liking used objects that could be haunted if you believe in that thing, that sort of thing. And I would love to know what you think. So leave a comment on our website. A to Z English podcast.com. Send me an email, A to Z English podcast at gmail.com, or join our awesome WhatsApp group. If you join the WhatsApp group, you can join the A to Z English podcast chat group. You can also join our free online Zoom lessons. There are two weeks of free Zoom lessons, and we do five lessons a week, and they are free for the first two weeks so you can test it out see if you like it and then you can join up with our group and we have lots of different rooms chat rooms on different topics you can talk about movies you can talk about books you can debate you can just go to the community chat you can talk about the podcast there's a lot to do in our whatsapp world so thanks everybody i will see you next time bye bye